So here we go, this is Hardware Battlefield. Uh, the next company up is People. Uh, you have six minutes on the clock. You're gonna tell us all about your uh, amazing new product, all right? All right. Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm gonna introduce you to People. People actually came from an idea from my son. When he was three years old, he escaped the house. He had wandered onto a busy street, and the neighbors brought him back. We had a little bit of a scare, but he was fine. I realized I wanted to make something from my door that would tell me when a door had opened, closed, or been knocked on. After a few prototypes, we realized we were onto something. Your front door is a blind spot. You have no idea when it's been opened, closed, or when someone has knocked on your door. In this day and age, when we have caller ID for our phone, it doesn't make any sense that you have no idea when someone comes to your house. So how does it work? This is people. People <coughs> sits on the inside of your house. It connects to either a peephole or a window on your door. When someone knocks on your door, sends the data up to the cloud, you get a notification on your phone, and then you can see who's at your door no matter where you are. Now, I was in San Francisco for the last four months, and I, what I realized is what happens in San Francisco often sets a trend, and everyone is getting stuff delivered. So imagine not missing any deliveries anymore. Now, you might say, well, no one comes to my house, but how would you know? If you would be surprised how many service calls you miss. Also, if you have people that work for you that come into your house while you're not there, you can now keep track of when they come and when they leave. And if you have kids that are, come home from high school on their own, open the door, you'll know when they come automatically. People can also live tweet. Imagine live tweeting your Halloween visitors. And one of the number one uses for it is screening people. So if some, this guy comes to your door and you don't want to answer the phone, you don't even have to uh, answer the door, excuse me, you don't even have to get to, uh, up to the door and open it. He doesn't even know you came. But if these guys came, you do. You can't open the door. Now, like I said, people can also tell when you door opens and closes, and this is important to keep track of wandering kids. But this data also goes up to the cloud. Imagine some of the things you could do with either facial recognition, or even better, why not unwrap the peephole image? So, summarize, if you have a door and you have a smartphone, you are a potential customer. Let's do a simple demo. So this is people, it, it's on, you're in the inside of the house, I'm on the outside, I'm knock on the door. Now let's switch. And when you open the door, and it's, we're having some video difficulties, it's usually not this orange, but there you go. And there's the app. So we can go back. Looking at the competitive landscape, uh, I have a Nest. And to install your Nest, you have to turn off a circuit breaker. You have to take a picture of the wiring. You have to email that to Nest. And I still screwed it up, and I'm an electrical engineer. I think that's too complicated. Uh, and, the other, and, and the intrusive and passive side, I have a drop cam. And I've realized very quickly with drop cam, it can take pictures of you whether you have your clothes on or not, and I think that's too intrusive. Looking at the market, there's a new thing coming called the do-it-yourself home security market. This is gonna be huge. Uh, we like to call it Securiosity. Right now, the rental market is completely ignored. There are about 122 million households and 43 million of those households rent. It's growing. Now, why is this relevant? Well, as you probably know, according to Texas Building Code 92-153 Definition 2, Peepholes are ex required on all exterior doors, either that or a window, as well as deadbolts. This is the law in Texas, and Texas is not being progressive here. San Francisco, Virginia, all over the U.S., it's a law. So where are we now? We are doing more field testing, we are getting ready for design for manufacturing, and we will soon be doing some crowdfunding. Where are we gonna go? We would like to do some online sales, then get into retail, and then uh, partner with bigger companies once we get a, f a foothold in the consumer market. So we, like I mentioned with field tests, we field tested with families, single people. Um, and this is Helen, she, she has a home security system and she was said that she would use her people to screen visitors because that's something a current security system doesn't do. It can augment a secu home security system. We're big believers in field tests. They challenge your assumptions and your hypotheses and we will be doing more. In fact, one of the main things we learned during field testing was that screening was going to be a big issue. We had a bug in ours when it wouldn't show the picture fast enough. Now it delivers the picture in less than a second. So now you can screen pretty actively. Once we did that, this question went straight up to how useful. 
I'm Chris, you've met me. I've been working with David for the last 10 years in the soul crushing game industry. Craig is our hardware expert and he currently has hardware orbiting the earth. So, sign up for, at people.io if you're interested and if I can leave you with just one thing, your door no longer has to be a blind spot. Thanks. Very good, so you're just a minute under. Uh, so what do you guys think of people? What's the price? Good question. So until we finish design for manufacture, we don't really, we're not confident in giving a price, but it will be less than those that you saw in the competitive market, the competitive slide. And that thing just sticks on with magnets, or how does that connect? That's correct. It slash sits right here. So the peephole functionality is not ruined, so you also have to charge it every six months or so. Okay. So is it Wi-Fi? Yes. Okay. And the other side of the door just looks like a normal peephole? That's correct. So here's the other side. And are you looking at the content via an app that you're creating? Yes, this is an app we wrote. Okay, because so once I see someone through the people, mm -hmm. um, can I communicate with them, or is it just about making, do I, can I remotely unlock the door? What, what else happens? That's coming. Good question. So the idea right now is uh, we're giving you the information to decide what you want to do. Depending on our field tests and some other things, we're going to decide our accessory line. And one of the accessories we're really excited about is a remote lockbox or something like that. So you could actually see it, decide to open up that little combo lockbox, and let the person take a key if you want it. But you would see it and control it. It wouldn't do anything without your interaction. And does it have any relationship to the doorbell? No, that's another accessory. That's, that's a, something that would connect to the doorbell. That would be a, a Bluetooth-enabled device. So it's getting a sense when a, a knock comes mm -hmm. on the door? Yeah, it's accelerometer or magnetometer based. So a knock or a, a rotational will trigger it. It's a vent-based camera. So what if someone just rings the doorbell but doesn't knock? That's where we need the accessory. But that's why we're focusing on renters as well. I mean, if you look at multifamily units, it's a lot of, you know, rooms connected, and the doorbell market just doesn't even fit for them. Is it running off of a Wi-Fi network? Correct. Okay. Because in, in San Francisco, like, I have a front door, and then I have a gate, and the gate's exactly. not next to the front door. And that's, a, that's a, one of the problems we found in San Francisco, and unfortunately, San Francisco is not representative of where we are. We're from Austin, and it's not typical for us to have two or three gates before we get there. It's usually just the door. So, I mean, I like the fact you're going after the rental market because, mm -hmm. again, you're in a very crowded space and you're offering a lot of less functionality of all these sort of IoT platforms, right? right. So you have to, A, you're going to have to play with them. But if it's a rental market, again, it it's, can't be cost prohibitive and it's got to be really simple. And I'm worried that they're just going to unscrew that thing th I mean, and people walk away with it. Well, this is on the inside of your house. This is on the inside, sorry. So okay. anything, on, anything that they can steal in your house, they, can, they could steal this as well. But the point is, it's inside. All the other devices on the outside. So we don't have that theft problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you guys install this? Dams, you here? Um, I would want it in combination with an automatic door lock. I think cool, you know, right? it solves half of the problem right and we are yeah. talking to some yeah. of those and they have api's as well and so the good news is they are bluetooth largely almost all of them i believe if you know any wi-fi ones since we're not you can now that this can be your hub for your door lock so when do you expect a lot of the uh, the accessories to start rolling out as soon as we finish the crowdfunding we're going to start um, asking those questions things like colors accessories things like that and then we can put aboard a roadmap of when we do the accessories so this will be the first unit then we figure out the first accessories, things like a, a accessorized light, doorbell, lockbox, other things, figuring out how to prioritize that. We're going to let our cu customers help us with that. And can you make it smaller? I mean, it looks, it's obviously that's a tiny door, so it's kind of yeah. kind of off scale. This but. is a door for ants. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is largely constrained. Oh, we have the circuit board. If you're interested at our booth in your part, we'll show you the circuit board. Circuit board is tiny. The battery is honking. You know, and we and that's the biggest problem. I don't know if you notice this with your door. You're not going to have an outlet near your door. It has to be battery operated, and you're not going to have an easy electrical connection to it. The good news is it's event based, so it can last a very long time. Interesting. I you guys are speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I want the full functionality. You yeah, know, I think that's what really, I'm struggling with. Yeah, so. like I feel like it's 
it's the start of something, but it's sort of, it's, it's, it's not ready yet. Also the fact that we, you don't really know the price, it's hard to really gauge the viability of would I purchase this uh, as, as a Gen 1 or would I wait till right. you have all, like the, the full suite of products. Right, yeah, I, I think yep. it's a cool technology and product. I'm just thinking for screening, like, it's not that much more work for me to look out the window and see who it is. And, you know, again, if, if it was coupled with automatic door lock, I think it'd be way more well, useful. Well, again, this is Austin, so the houses are they're just, they're, they're wide out, they're all over the land there. I mean, I think, I think like, for something for a nest, for example, that's a one, that has one specific purpose, and you understand. It's a thermostat, it doesn't have mm -hmm. extra stuff. But in the, in the story that you're telling here, the peephole should be connected to a number of other things to make this, like, the, the, the holy well, grail of people technology. Well, um, look at the people who live in the rental things. Sure. They don't have all these extra things that they need to hook up. Mm -hmm. Also, you mentioned Nest. We could, Nest right now t could, could partner with this to know when the door actually <coughs> opens and closes, to know when people actually do leave. Right now, it does a motion detection to figure that out. So there's a lot of API opportunities as well. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Chris. I think we're, uh, think we're good to go. Right. So that was uh, that was people people.io. Uh, they're going to be they're working on crowdfunding shortly. Uh, right